Hey, guys, I should probably prepare myself more, shouldn't I? Well, there you go, prepared. Um, I, it was my birthday on the 31st of March, which was 10 days ago now. Wow, we. And I haven't done a video in a while, and I said I'd do a video, and I haven't been able to do because I've just got a new computer, and I'm still setting things up with that. I need to get stuff back from my old laptop so I can upload the sugar full one because I don't, really don't want to refilm it. And um, just numerous things I've been working and hunting into these days, and just numerous things you kind of don't want to hear about. And I'll post a video on my main channel if you want to hear about that. This day I thought I'd do like a little short thing. No, get you all in the. Um, basically, I'm just going to show you that only two books I got for my birthday, and they were both from my best friend. I because my computer was my like present, obviously. Um, and yeah, so let's go with that, and then I've got an announcement to make. If you haven't seen it on my blog already, and on my Facebook page already, and on Twitter already. I kind of posted it on Twitter and Facebook and obviously my blog because it's on my blog and Instagram that as well <laughs> um, then you guys will hear about the announcement uh, okay let's get started I'll start with the one I haven't actually read yet but I have been dying to read for like I don't, ever since it was released actually let's see does it say when it was released no, it's blank. It's all blank. It's no words. Sorry, I'm actually really weird when I don't have like a script. And most of my videos I do have a script for. Um, at least on this channel, you know. Do I film it? First published in the UK in 2015. Well, I've heard lots of good things about it recently. So since I heard good things, like, since the beginning of the year, I guess. But... Uh, I've heard so many good things, and I should tell you the title instead of just waving it around. But look how cool that cover is! It's a Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. And would you like me to read you the back? I'm gonna read you the. I'm gonna read you the blurb. Uh, I am the perfect weapon. I kill with a single touch. Twilight is blessed. The gods have chosen her to marry a prince and rule the kingdom, but the favour of the gods has its price. A deadly poison infuses her skin. Those who anger the queen must die under Twilight's fatal touch. Only Leaf, an outspoken new guard, can see past Twyla's chilling role to the girl she really is. It's in a course as dangerous as the Queen's. Some truths should not be told. I really despise the name Leaf. Like, I really hate it. Um, the Ceaseless, is it called Ceaseless? I think it's called Ceaseless. Um, trilogy, I think. It's, uh, uh, it's by Abby Glines. Um, Glines, Glines, whatever you want to call it. Um, she has a character called Leaf. She's a, like a novella book in his perspective perspective called Leaf, and it irritated me every time his name was brought up. Like I just dislike the name Leaf. I, I'm sorry if your name's Leaf. I've never heard it in person before. Maybe it's Lyeth. Lyeth. That sounds even worse. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. And the second one is the most amazing book ever. It's I'll give you the sun. I am nearly finished with it. I started yesterday. And was going to finish it, but I had work and then interview, and I didn't want to read it on the bus in case I put it in my bag and damaged it. Like I don't want to, I don't want to risk it. And it's such a beautiful book, and I'll tell, I'll actually tell you about it now. Uh, I'll give you the sun. Love is only half the story by Jandy Nelson, which is a lovely name by the way. See, so, yeah, Leaf is a horrible name. Jandy's quite a nice name, in my opinion, at least. Okay, it's the New York Times bestseller. Jude and her twin know work close until a tragedy drives them apart. Now they're barely speaking and both falling for boys they can't have. Love's complica complicated. Uh, I haven't actually started this one, so I can't give an actual opinion about it. But this one is the perspective of Noah is when he's 13 to 14. And the perspective of Jude is when she's 16. And it's like, his is before the tragedy happens, slash while it happens. Like, if that makes sense. I don't know, I haven't got to the bit where the tragedy's happened with him yet, but I know it's going to come up. Like, because I may have, when I was looking, like, I, I went to look for the thing, actually landed on the bit, and it's mentioned someone coming after the tragedy happens, and I was like, oh, okay, so we actually get to experience, we, we get to actually feel it with him um and Jude is 
after and you see a lot of connecting bits like one for instance like this isn't running anything by the way um Noah goes to an art class and draws this guy and then Jude sees the picture and gives him the sun it still doesn't ruin anything it's just it's like near the beginning um <laughs> I feel really bad, like, it's not a spoiler, I promise, like, it's not spoiled anything. Um, yeah, and she gives him the sun for it, so that she can have this drawing. And then she ends up meeting the guy, and she's like, oh my god, I recognise you, but can't remember from where. And I just, oh, I so badly want them to get together, and I don't know if they do, because, yeah. And the art is so beautiful in it. Like, look at this. The pages have so much on them. And it comes it comes with postcards. Wait, where is it? Postcards, oh my god. Okay, it's been six minutes to be rambling about two books. Just two. Not even three. Just two. I have, This is a problem. I have a major problem with rambling about books. Oh god. Okay, now the announcement is I did a giveaway. I started a giveaway. I started. I posted it yesterday. You didn't, posted the day before yesterday, I think, actually. And it's a crime thriller giveaway. And it's the book Not Dead Enough. And Have You Seen Her? I think. And Mistress. Uh, Have You Seen Her? is by Karen. Where is you? Where are you, Karen? Karen Rose is Have You Seen Her? I think. Yep. And Mistress is by James Patterson and David Ellis. And Not Dead Enough is by Peter James. And they are all thrillers and you can get the complete descript like complete blurbs or synopsis, whatever you want to call it, of the books in the link below, which is gonna be the writings of imaginary girl dot wordpress dot com. It's the next, like first post if you're watching this on the day I posted the video. Do you feel me? Do you feels me? Does you? Does you feels me? Jolly good. And it is for UK and Ireland only, though I may change the rules for that. I don't know, depending on how much I get paid. Um, slash if I get a job before April 30th. I've got hiccups, I'm sorry. I really need a hiccup. Like, if I get the apprenticeship that I had the interview for for today, then I'll have money, more money by April 30th, for which I can open the contest internationally. Oh my god, blown your minds, and the only rules are you need to follow me on WordPress and uh, comment with which book you would like to enter for. Um... If you're entering via Instagram, which the rules apply, as in you'd have to follow my Instagram, so my WordPress, or you can follow both. It's, you can enter via both, basically. Um, uh, if you're voting, if you're going on Instagram, you can only enter for one. If you're doing it on WordPress, then you can enter for more than one. You just have to comment each time you enter. Like if you enter for three books, you comment three times each with the name of the book. And there's an optional question also, if you share the post on Facebook and Twitter and then link me to the post, you should like to the share post, then I will add you in for another entry. Cool, cool, sounds good. Whoop, whoop. Uh, additionally, you have to be willing to give you my address, uh, me your address. Um, I will be contacting you by email for that. I'll obviously, I'll contact the user um to get your email and then or just give you my email and you can email me and then we i can get your personal information via that and then i'll delete it as soon as i've written down everything like that got as soon as i've got the bot the book packaged up with your address on it i will delete the email um don't worry you're in safe hands i won't do anything except maybe send you like chocolate as well as a book who knows? I'm a nice person. Um, unless you're diabetic like I am, and then I'll send you sugar-free lollipops. Yeah, I know. Uh, I've been rambling for like five minutes, four minutes, I don't know. Um, just about this giveaway. What else? There was something else. I completely forgot what it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> 
<coughs> sorry. Uh, I'll be using a random name generator, uh, generator uh, on the internet, okay, writing down all the usernames that enter, and um, for each book, doing it separately with that to come up with a winner, and if the winner does not reply within 48 hours of me telling them that they've won, I will um, be announcing the winners in a blog post as well. So if they reply within 48 hours, I'll be choosing another winner. Lucky beings, aren't you? Okay, I'm going to go now. I've spoken too much. You'll get a proper video as soon as I get uh, the hard drive off my friend so I can transfer the videos onto my computer from my laptop. Or I'll just do an April Books to Read video. That's always one I could do. It's obviously going to include this bad boy. We'll see if it includes this one. We'll see if I get more books. Who knows? I hope so. I really... <laughs> I'm getting really, really, like, loud and... Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm 